Well, today is the 100th day in office for Governor Roy Cooper, and from the national controversy surrounding House Bill 2... To lawmakers' attempts at stripping the governor of some of his power, he has already dealt with a lot in this time. CBS North Carolina's Lauren Haviland joins us live from the governor's mansion with a look ahead. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Russ and Maggie. Governor Roy Cooper has what he may call some successes, but also some struggles in those first 100 days. Education continues to be a top priority for Cooper. Since Cooper was sworn in about three months ago, he's been touring the state discussing teacher pay. A full repeal of House Bill 2 was also a major issue for Cooper. Recently, House Bill 142 was introduced and passed. It's not the full repeal Governor Roy Cooper or organization organizations like the NCAA are looking for, but both say it's a step in the right direction. As for one of the struggles Cooper faces, it's between the Democratic governor and Republican-led General Assembly. The General Assembly passed laws to limit Cooper's powers, but as of right now, the judges have yet to rule whether or not that's unconstitutional. Live in Raleigh, Lauren Havland, CBS, North Carolina.